guys click on the subscribe button on my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest information on my videos immediately welcome guys this is tech adit karsh and i'm adit and today i'm going to show you some of not some of the actually one boss fight Now the Mortal Kombat X fans out there know that this is a time where the challenge series is of treacherous Tanya and there goes. I have conquered that card in just one fight so I have made this video and I am planning on making this series so if you really if I get as many likes as views then I will continue this series and if I don't then also I will continue this series because I love YouTubing and this is all for you guys so I hope you will enjoy this video and I have you know I have failed almost 16 times before conquering that card you know it needs a lot of planning if it doesn't have great cards as you can see my cards are you know all obsolete and they are not great uh, they are not even fused once and I have used one card which is you know breaks family which has having like 10 or 11 levels so I hope you can forgive me about that and let's just start with the video itself and here it comes first what's in the inbox I see there is something okay with 50 yeah was correct now let's head to the challenge first of all I show you the card properties and this character will destroy the opponent's equipment whatever he will be using or she will be using if she uses any of those three attacks and the power drain has reduced effects on the teammate as clearly said now 1.1k of attack and 1.2k of health is not that bad for a gold character. I think it is the most powerful character which you will get out there and I have conquered these all only the boss fight. Now you can see the health of treacherous Tanya 55k. I have to plan my you know team because Jackery Bricks is not a card which I will use to play. I think I should use Shinnok, but then I changed my mind to use Cold War Sub Zero as it has less, it takes less damage on X ray attacks, so I can use yeah, it for a very long time and it has a quite good power generation, so this will prove the best card against the enemy now you have seen that none of my card crosses the 8k power and the enemy's power is a lot more so yeah here comes the gameplay I tell you I'm on a attacking side I do not believe in defending from the attack rather I believe in attacking so continuously that the character is not able to attack of the enemy side but as you can see uh, still I get some I have to learn how to block yeah. and that's why I chose Cold War Sub-Zero because I get lots of combo and here comes the extreme oh man neck broken ah again neck broken again neck oh my god these are all superhuman surviving x-ray attack now you see I have told you that he will survive an X-ray attack. No matter how great is that, he will definitely survive that. And that's a chance. Now the second X-ray attack of Tanya will be I will be tricking because I have one here little card jack with bricks. I you know she's not meant to do damage as you can see. No damage at all. So she will be taking here yeah, that attack that is used up and I have chosen Cold War because if Tanya does a second uh, you know x-ray then it will be used up and my Balina will not be affected 
so she can take damages for a long time and I can win this match and here she will be doing x-ray I think she will now be doing the x-ray oh god now comes the x-ray I think ah yes here comes the x-ray okay, neck neck and neck again he will not survive that yes but I think my Melina can handle all those attacks now and just win this fight. Oh yeah! Now you see, plan accordingly. Yeah, you if you are fighting a boss with lots of power, so I have I can use Kenshi out there. I will show that my possessed Kenshi is a lot powerful than the Cold War Sub Zero. The reason why I haven't used Kenshi is that because Kenshi you know the damage are based on damage over time and Treacherous Tanya is uh, kind of you know immune to damage over time so that card will not do any effects to me. Like you see, yeah I have possessed Kenshi and so, so I could have used the Bone Shepherd Shinnok or the Scorpion but I haven't I have chosen one character based on the yes power generation because he will be you know very frequently using the one and the second special attack and one character ha having a high damage property like Melina you know his uh, first special attacks takes up to 4k of the opponent's power so those are the cards which are based on the you know strategy and the third card is sometimes beneficial to you but sometimes it is not like Jacko Bricks now that character doesn't do anything doesn't do anything like you have seen <laughs> the boss once attacked me and that card was like vanished nothing was left so if you like this fight then do subscribe to my channel for other videos I do many gameplay videos and unboxing and blah 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 whatever you need and do like and comment about what you like about this video or what you disliked about this video I'll be planning to do more videos like this so till next video bye bye